Who am I? None of your business. What's it to you? You're writing a book? That's how I'd be talking if I was still in the mob. The ancient Italian code of silence known as Omerta required us to keep our mouths shut. It all started back in Sicily, where the mob made an example of anyone who opened their mouth. Like this guy. All he did was ask a cop for directions. After that, no one ever talked to the cops. In fact, no one ever talked to anyone just to be on the safe side. Even if my great grandpa's <gasps> pants were on fire, he still would have kept his mouth shut. Hell of a guy. The whole village grinded to a halt. They had to come up with some way to communicate. Why Italians talk with their hands. Because of Omerta? I don't think that's true, Pop. Oh, yeah? Ow! You know what that means? Or did I stutter? Uh, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. This corset's so tight, my boobs are coming out my back. Why are we here? I gotta support my boss's side business, because he supports my Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays off. Dinner where someone gets whacked. It's like I'm back home, except I'm dressed like an asshole. Oh, no! Someone shoot him, Rancher Dan! Ooh, the cavalry's here, albeit unscripted. Roll with it, everyone! Don't mind me, I'm just here to see... Buffalo, jump, Toby! You can't wear that! I can't even wear that. Jimmy, I'm afraid I have some pressing news. Great! Tell us at home! Let's go! Yeah! For Canada, where white people still think wearing these is okay! Oh, dances with horse make big I'm angry. Run many paces. Am I right, guys? Oh. All right, McCool, so what's this news? There's no easy way to say this. Oh, crap, we're moving again. Who'd you rat out this time, hop along sack of shit? I, for one, welcome a fresh start. That's because you got caught in class with a sleep boner. It's your grandmother in Sicily. No! I'm afraid she's dying. No! My God, why? <laughs> that woman is insane. Roll out the fluffy red carpet, Jesus, because there's an angel coming. Take me instead, Lord. No, take me. Take them both, God, please. I know your pain. I was absent when my own dear grandmother passed. They say she shrieked my name as the grizzly bear tore into her. <laughs> When I heard about your Nona, I resolved to bring her here for a final farewell. <laughs> huh? Are you out of your freaking mind? I don't want to see her. I hate that bitch. She's the whole reason I had an eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You were all so upset when I said she was dying. She's family. You gotta make a big show in case God and all the neighbors are watching. But if she finds out we ratted on the mob... Yeah. We. Don't worry. Nona's practically comatose. She'll have no idea where she is. I'm not taking that chance. We gotta be ready to make her think it's the old life. No witness protection, no cops, nothing's changed. That might be tricky. She lands in two hours. <gasps> I'm coming, Jesus!
All right, one more time. <gasps> Forget it about it. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm nervous. You heard me say it like a million times. <laughs> it's here. See, what did I tell you? Jimmy? Uh, that's right, Nona. It's Jimmy. Ah! Winnipeg Jets! She's up! That means you're up, Serpico. Make it good. Forget about it, and uh, uh... So, Jimmy, I see you bring a the whore. Hello, Nona. And the crybaby. <laughs> Santa Lucia! Don't feed this one after midnight. And here's the fat one. Hi, Nona. It's nice to see. <laughs> Maroon, the idiot of the leaves. Evening, Nona. You're looking lovely. Okay, Nona. Good to see you. Let's get this visit over with. Hey, wait for your cousin. What cousin? What cousin? Says the porky pig. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Apronia, come meet Dante's Inferno. You know that's your cousin, right? Technically not. I'm a McDougal. Too bad. It's way hotter if she's your cousin. Okay, let's get you home, Nona. You must be tired. Tired of your face. We no go home. I want to see Statue of Liberty. Uh, Nona, obviously we're in uh, New York, which we are, but uh, Statue of Liberty's a tall order. Why? This is a city that never sleep. I never take a bath. Oh, we go. You idiot! Apologize to Nona, like the stinking dog that you are. Hey ho, bada booba! Ha <laughs> I's a real a sorry there, uh, Nona Malona. Jesus Christ! I don't know why, but I uh, like you. Now take me to Lady Liberty. How you doing, Paisan? I'm Cheech. She look. Smaller? Yeah, uh, budget cuts. Thanks a lot, Obama. We go. Ah, oh, America is so romantic. It sure is. We invented drive through wedding chapels. So, Pietro, you have a sweetheart? No, I just haven't met the right cousin. Girl, I mean girl. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's your cousin's ass you're groping. Ah! Would you stop reminding me? Houses are small. Business bad, Jimmy. No, uh, the mansion's being renovated. This is Petey's house. <laughs> is a Petey in a family business? Yeah, yeah, he's a chip off the old block. Petey, show Apollonia to a room. Don't tell me what to do in my own house! You believe this bitch? No, no. I made eggplant palm just for you. You hungry? Eggplant? No, no, thought you just put cheese on a dirty sock. Uh, <laughs> this'll be your room. Huh, <laughs> plastic sheets. It's not what you think. I'm just a bedwetter. In the village, I always dream of America. Now I am here with handsome cousin, like a dream come true. If dreams came true, I'd be your handsome cuz. Oh, wait! Pietro, will you show Apollonia big banana? Banana? Well, it's kind of yellow and curves left. Oh, you mean the big apple! <laughs> I thought you meant my penis. Whoa, that's the first time I've ever said penis in front of a girl. You don't know what I'm saying, do you? Penis, 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 penis. I like you. Old hag wouldn't know good eggplant palm if it smothered her in her sleep with my favorite pillow. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, now, just because she spat it back onto her plate doesn't mean she didn't like it. Jimmy, I think if she finds out, she won't tattle. She's family. She's Sicilian! We broke Omerta, that sh runs deeper than blood. I smell -a the rat. <gasps> oh no, that's the whore's excuse for cooking. Where's all of your friends, big sheet? It's big shot. I know what I say. No friends to pay respect to Nola. Something not a right here. Put her in a bath, drop in a toast, about a boom, pine box back to Italy. If she's on to us, we gotta send her back right now. If we send her back, she'll know we're onto her being onto us. Gina, run a bath. I'll get the toast. <laughs> oh, eggplant parm. So, you want a way out of this? I know just the guy to talk to. <laughs> who? I said. Who's that now? You know who I mean. It's. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, I said Timmy. Who's Timmy? You know, your friend there, Geronimo. Toby? That's the guy. Tony. <laughs> oh, Gina, you're gross. Still tastes better than that fucking eggplant. Your mystery dinner murder theater, Tippy. Toby, as long as it starts with a T. Shut up, Robbie. It's gotta be a New York gangster theme. Ooh, I love gangster stories. New Jack City, Boys in the Hood, the Goonies. What Goonies? I'm talking to Mafia. Cheech, this is not a good idea. How dare you come into my nephew's house and disrespect me like this? I go to kitchen, I mind my business. You see, Taco, that's the kind of authenticity we're looking for. Don't you worry. Authenticity is our new middle name at the Eastside Authenticity Players. Eastside Toby, this fighting's gone on too long. We gotta bring the families together, end the bloodshed, and eat some pasta! Blood is shed, uh, macaroni, mamma mia, Abba's the best. That's insulting and kind of racist, but you got the job. Oh, Jimmy, you won't be disappointed. That's not true, but whatever. Don't moosh this up. The only thing I'll be mooshing are the Italian peas. I think I want to kill him already. That's good. Use that. <laughs> Aw, did you come running to me because you're scared of the thunder? No, I come because you scared of the thunder. Thank you. Mm, I like you. I like you too, Apollonia, but we're cousins. Cousins? It's a, just a word. But it's forbidden! Except in Kentucky and parts of Manitoba. What about Regina? You know we're not in New York? Yes. I ain't no understand, but I no care. I'm uh, sorry. I cannot. I know. It's wrong, but it feels so right. What can we do? Ah! I get the new sheets. And pajama bottoms. Hey, everybody. Look. It's Jimmy Spaghetti and the Spaghetti family. And you brought the little meatball. Ooh, she looks mad. Toby, I told you to call us the Falcone family. It's very important. I thought about it, Jimmy, but Falcone is just too on the nose. Are you kidding me? Jimmy, you're Scottish. I worked in Italy, Ceramic Tile Bazaar, for three years. I know a thing or two about the land of grout and marble. Get those cotton balls out of your mouth. You look like an idiot. But that's what Marlon Brando used in his portrayal of the... Brando's not even Italian. And for the record, neither is Bratwurst. And why is there a Mexican flag up there? Jimmy, we're walking a tightrope here, and it's windy. Careful not to blow your cover. Which cover? 
That I'm a gangster or I'm not a gangster? I don't know. My mind's racing to keep up. Macho Picchu! Seriously, it's way better if you don't talk. Jimmy, this is all terrible. Nona's not gonna buy it. Oh, is that El Pacino? I'm gonna get an autograph. Hey, Jimmy Spaghetti with the great big belly. Eat! You want more ranch dip for your pizza bagels? Look at that Larry Linguini! Who let such a snake into this gathering of honorable men? Toss him out with the rest of the garbage! Wink, wink! I hope you're enjoying the show! Of respect? Show of respect, right, Nona? I go to the ladies' room and drop, how you say, uh, cookies, eggplant, parmesan. I think she's buying it. We're gonna be okay. We're more than okay. I'm Facebook friends with Pacino! Hey, everyone! We just got married! What? And someone killed Larry Linguini! My baby boy's married to his freaking cousin! We have to abort. I agree. I do not want a two-headed cousin baby running around. No, Jimmy, the mission. First, we gotta break up this marriage before Nona finds out and tells half of Sicily that Apollonia married Petey Falco! By the way, Jimmy, my congratulations. A little something for the happy couple? Aw, you shouldn't have. Will you forget about that? Just go keep Nona in the bathroom. Cook, you scare some sense into Apollonia. I'll go beat the shit out of Petey. Look, I know in the old country, people marry the cousins all the time. But you don't want to be married to a pimply chronic masturbator. Plus, look at you and look at him. You're so beautiful. And he's... he's... Uh, handsome? A strong? What are you, a crackhead? The guy's a loser! What is a loser? A gavon, an idiot, a bonehead! I have to love him, but you got a choice. Ah, see, si, see. Si. Oh, one a second. Don't you disrespect to my husband! Ow! Hey! What? Just making sure he's sharp. Hey, and a Nona! The big abasa says that you gotta stay in the washroom, uh, cause a Larry Linguini's killer is still running around. Bada bada bingo! Such a nice boy. Shut up your face. Sulfur Mountain, that is unholy. I know you're disappointed you weren't at the ceremony, but our love just couldn't wait. I don't give a crap about your ceremony. She's your cousin! You bang him. You don't marry him. What is this? Kentucky? No, it's Regina. And guess what? My wife knows, and she doesn't care. You told her this ain't New York? Are you nuts? Oh, God, I gotta talk to Cookie. Cheech, keep Petey away from Apollonia. You can't keep us apart. We're family now. Again. Still. You know, I'm starting to like this chick. I think she really loves my boy. Welcome to the family. She was already in the family. Don't ruin this, Gina. Hey, Jimmy Spaghetti, I need a to talk to you. Not now, Toby. How dare you disrespect me at the wedding of your son to my daughter? What'd he say? Nothing. Kiss me. Daughter, what the fuck are you talking about? The wedding threw me off. I had to improvise. Which is why we're now called the A-Side Authenticity Improvisational Players. Another domain name I have to check. Never mind the wedding. But this union will bring our families together. What the wedding? If your boy hurts a my girl, I'll kill a you, Jimmy. Please, adieu. Why you want to be married? Look at me. I'm free as a bird. I got my options open. Sky's the limit. You live alone in a basement. Never let it go. You hear me? Never let it go. And name your firstborn after me. I don't care how many heads it's got. Excuse me, everyone. I've always said there's nothing more important than family. And apparently my son agrees with a vengeance. 
So, it's my honor to announce the first dance between Petey... Cookie, no! ...and his beautiful and surprisingly stabby bride, Apollonia. Oh, dear God. Let's do this, Nona! Stop right there, Petey Spaghetti! You thought you fooled us with this elaborate and unscripted wedding. Well, you didn't. You murdered Larry Linguini. Apollonia no married this monster. This family bring a shame to me. Crime, murder, but no more. No, no, calm down, please. Cosa nostra. No, no, stop. I'm not in the mob anymore. I ratted out my old bosses, and now I'm in witness protection. In Canada. <laughs> Is it true, Jimmy? Is it true, Nona? I'm just a civilian now, a schnook. Nona, so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, Jimmy, see the light. Your cover's blown. I'll have you inside the Arctic Circle by morning. That's further north, isn't it? Jimmy, that's so far north, Cheech will probably bang Santa's wife. <sighs> Take a bow, Jimmy, quick! Jimmy McDougal, everybody! Brought to you by the Eastside Authenticity Improvisational Surprise Ending Players! Bravo! So, Nona, you're not mad? No, Jimmy. For once, I'm a proud of you. But I betrayed Omerta. I don't care about Omerta. It's just a big, stupid stereotype about Sicilians. Now I'm gonna go and make a nice pizza pie. Does this mean Apollonia and I have your blessing? No, Apollonia no marry the monster who kill a Larry Linguini. <gasps> How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, a former mafia big shot and current suburban schnook, living in witness protection in Canada. It wasn't easy giving up the old life. My family and me was used to living a certain way, looking a certain way, and mostly talking a certain way. And so I say, a bada boom bada bing, and he goes, what's the matter with your stugats? People, come on. The sooner you learn how to speak Canadian, the sooner we can send you to your new home. Wait a minute. They don't have American cheese in Canada? They do, but it's called processed cheese. Does it still taste like crap? Yes. For the most part, yes. There's no Cliff's Notes up there? How am I gonna almost not fail my classes? They're called Cole's Notes, but I'd recommend studying harder. You're cute. Wait a minute. They call a garbage disposal a garburator? Yes. That sounds sexy. <gasps> How come they don't have Canadian bacon in Canada? They call it back bacon. What, from the back end of the pig? Why don't they just call it ass bacon? That might go good with that progress cheese. I got a question. Do they call it a stick up or a hold up? People, it's not that hard. Bathrooms are called washrooms. Whole milk is called. Wait, this can't be right. It says here it's called homo milk. Oh, what kind of sick country are you taking us to? And who exactly milks these homos? But we had no choice but to pick up this godforsaken language before they shipped us off to Vagina... Regina. ...Saskatchewan, where I'm still trying to learn my ABZs. But if you think just because we live in the Great White North, we're gonna drink homo milk? Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. I did it! I recreated the universe! All those Friday nights spent honing my math skills and letting my limbs atrophy have paid off! Time to discover once and for all the true nature of our world! Oh my god, my shoes! Stop! Your shoes aren't in there, they're on your feet! I know, but this is where they sleep. 
Besides, with no shoes in it, what's so important about a stupid box? Because inside this box is an exact replica of all existence. One glance and I will unravel the mysteries of creation and discover the true meaning of life. Yeah, fine, whatever. Just put it back in my room when you're done. And now, the moment of truth. Wheel over, Stephen Hawking! An endless, vast expanse of nothing. I mean, I knew it would be that, but but it's just so darn big. I'm just a speck. This planet's a speck. I'm a speck on a speck on a speck. At least you have legs. A little pasta bolognese, a nice chianti, some antipasti, and bada bing, that raccoon's going down. Why you gotta waste a good meal? Just strangle it. Jimmy, get rid of that trap. You know how Petey gets when we kill animals. Humane this, and do you have to slaughter them for fun that? Cook, the boys gotta learn. We're on top of the food chain because we evolved over hundreds of years. Before you say anything, kid, I'm telling you this vermin has it coming. Don't go eating my geraniums, buddy. I'm a man and I kill things. What do I care if one little raccoon dies when the universe is endless, human endeavor pointless, and life meaningless? <laughs> Utterly meaningless. Well, that was weird. He didn't even make me feel guilty, which somehow makes me feel guilty. I'll just have two peas, because I had a big glass of water for lunch. Why? Food won't fill the void. Petey, eat for God's sake. There are children starving right beside you. So what? We're all just mites of dust with no reason to live. Whoa, 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 no reason to live? What about the fat payday of a trifecta? That's worth living for. A Fendi bag and stole credit? Scratching a real itchy body part. And have you ever seen the tanned backside of a hot Brazilian... Ah! Nut! I was gonna say nut! How about your family? Aren't we worth living for? And you better say yes or I'll kill you. Promise. May God have mercy on your soul, Peter Frampton Falcone. Nice try, but there is no God. What? I've seen the universe, Mother. And it's a never-ending desert of nothing. God has left the building. <gasps> well, if he's leaving, I should be allowed to leave. Do I have to finish my pee? I know I just did. No, oh, wait. There we go. Ah, young Peter, taking a kick at the can at the old kick at the can game. Brings back memories. My father used to kick my can. Now, don't forget to recycle this. Why bother? They're just a bunch of random molecules. Ah, nihilism. Existentialism's ugly cousin. But I defend your rights to your beliefs, so all I can say is... Recycle or pay a fine. For Canada, where every day is Earth Day! Come in. Cheech, can we talk? I'm worried about Petey. I don't know what's wrong with him, and I don't know what's wrong with me for suddenly caring what's wrong with him. Jimmy, I tell you this every time you worry about the kid. You get him drunk, you get him laid, he'll find a meaning of life. I'm not sure that's good parenting, Cheech. You remember your first time? Sure. Her name was Sharon, and she had the body of a goddess. She needed help changing a flat, flat tire. tire. And then she pulled your pants off and showed you the time of your life. How did you know that? Because she was a whore. <laughs> oh, not whore, slut. Poor prostitute! What?! Your dad paid her. He told me all about it. He was a tubby teenager who liked Broadway musicals. He had to set you straight. It's true. I haven't listened to Miss Saigon since. I can't believe this, Cheech. I mean, I think about that day with Sharon a lot. I mean, a lot. Like, just last night with Cookie. And it's not just the sex, but how I wooed her, how I won her. It gave me the confidence to do so many other things. Jeez, Jimmy, you're not gonna... Father, how could you betray me so? Sharon, how could you not let me know? One more note, and I swear to God I'll put you out of your misery. Oh, Virgin Mary, I don't know what to do. My dear, sweet little boy's going to spend eternity in hellfire because he doesn't believe in God. If there's no God, who locked me up? Hey, oh! I need your help. He's my only son. Don't tell me about sons. Mine totally diss me. 
chose his father over me. Of course, his dad did have that deluxe apartment in the sky. Please, Mary, stay on topic. And then he goes and gets himself caught up with that apostle gang and literally throws his life away. And for what? Uh, mankind? Please, what'd they ever do for him? I wanted him to go to med school, but he wanted to be a carpenter. He could have been Dr. Christ, for Christ's sake. But no, he wanted to make chairs. Oy, such a disappointment. Look, Mary, how about Petey? You mean Peter? He was no saint, let me tell you. He made a pass at me at Jesus' bar mitzvah. He had a thing for older women. Not many people know this, but I am the original MILF. I'm talking about my boy, Petey. How do I get him to start believing in God again? All right, all right. Here's what you do. Tell the kid to pray for something. I'll call the ex and make it happen. You do that for me? Oh, thank you so much. No problem. I got nothing going today except lending my image to a piece of toast in Newark. Then I'm wide open. Come on, everybody. Time for church. Jesus Christ, Jimmy, I've been in Canada for six months. I got nothing to confess. As you know, I will not be joining you to worship your tin god. Fine by me. Hey, if he don't gotta go, why do I gotta go? We gotta get everybody out of the house. Petey don't know it, but I hired him a girl and she'll be here any minute. But you were so upset that your father did it for you. Yeah, but I got to thinking about it in the shower and I came around. Ah, church is for suckers. No, it's fun. I love going into the confessional and making the priests blush. I like going in and punching them in the bojangles, but not every week. Petey, I'm trying to accept this whole not believing in God thing. So, does that mean you've canceled the exorcism? No, I already paid for the caterer. Just do me a favor. Pray one time. If God doesn't answer, I'll never bother you again. Indulge the woman who brought you into this world so she doesn't have to take you out. Is she really so naive as to think I can just get on my knees, put my hands together, and say, I pray that a pretty girl shows up on my doorstep and it'll happen? Religion is nothing but one big band-aid on the scab of life. Hi, my car broke down and my cell phone's dead. Can I come in and use your phone? I can't believe it! God actually exists! And he has the same taste as me. Yeah, I don't mind waiting, Auto Club. I'm at a really cute guy's house, and his parents aren't home. How could this be? I was certain there was only nothingness, and then she appears. God has spoken. The Auto Club will be here in an hour. Exactly. What should we do to kill the time? This is amazing. Can you hang on? I gotta give thanks. Thanks! I guess now it's my turn to show gratitude for letting me wait here. Thanks again. No, I can't. I must reject all sin. Okay. So, what are we going to do for the next 57 minutes? Um... Buttocks! Triple word score! You have a very rich vocabulary. I'm a big fan of 18th century erotic literature. Brenda, you're amazing. You're the most fascinating player I've ever seen. I can't wait to see which exotic word you'll put down next. Oh. I'm not finished. All right, fellatio, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten. Double word score makes 20, and... Well, that's it for me. I thought you were waiting for the auto club. They're taking too long. I'll just drive it to the gas station. Then why did you... Shh. Too many questions. Well, can I see you again? Sure. I can do five to six tomorrow, or a quickie at 7.45. I'll take both. Praise Jesus! Hey, kiddo, what's with the smile? I thought life was a big pile of junk. It was the most amazing thing, Pop. I prayed for a beautiful woman to show up at the door, and then just like that, one did. That's my boy. And then what happened? Isn't it obvious? I found God. I bet you did. We played Scrabble and talked and talked and gazed into each other's eyes and talked some more, and then she left. Petey, if you pray to God for a pony, and he sends you one, you gotta ride it! You don't challenge it to a board game! 
Pops, I've never felt this way about anyone. This weekend, I'm taking her to a church picnic and a scavenger hunt, followed by a screening of Return of the King, Director's Cut. 13 hours of G-rated bliss. 13 hours? At a thousand bucks an hour? That's... Fuck. I have distressing news, Jimmy. Yesterday, I noticed a car parked outside your house. I ran the plates and, well, it belongs to a known prostitute. What? A prostitute's not allowed to park her car? She knocked on your door. A prostitute can't knock on a door? And she went inside with only Petey at home. A prostitute can't solicit my son? Okay, I'll give you that one. Soliciting sex is illegal, Jimmy, and that's against the rules. Okay, McCool, here's the thing. Yes, I hired a girl for Petey, but nothing happened. Why would I believe that, Jimmy? Have you met my son? I believe it. But Canada, where the oldest profession is still logging! Hey, where's Petey? Praise the Virgin Mary. He's been spending all his time at the church. I don't know what kind of scam he's running, but I swear to God I'm gonna muscle my way in. You don't have to muscle your way into God's house, Gina. His heart is always open to you. What? You just look like one of those people who don't use electricity. I found a higher calling, and it's called the Lord's Work. That's my son. Now let us say grace. Everyone join hands. Cookie, switch seats with me. I don't want to hold hands with a boy. Dear Lord, God in heaven, Savior of all men, except men who love men, please pour your golden love upon us. Ew. Cleanse my family of all unrighteousness. I know that's asking a lot, seeing as my sister puts out for anyone with two hands, my uncle's a degenerate, and I'm pretty sure my mother used to pole dance for loose change. What the hell, Petey? Okay, my turn. God, please forgive my son for breaking the fifth commandment and not honoring his mother, and for being a massive douchebag. Amen. Sticks and stones, mother. Which is what we should be hurling at Teresa for parading herself around like a modern-day Jezebel. Who's Jezebel? She sounds fat. Look, kid, you need to learn how this whole religion thing works. I'm very curious to hear what you can teach me about pie eating. We'll talk about pie eating later. When it comes to being a Roman Catholic from New York, these are the rules. Every day but Sunday, you do whatever you want. And don't disrespect your mother. Ow! Why'd you hit me? Haven't you read your Bible? An eye for a tooth. So stop telling God I'm a slut. Why'd you hit me? What? I thought it was a thing. There's only one person who truly understands me. Brenda, come here to me. Whoa, here? Yes, I can't wait any longer. It's your dime. Let us pray. God be with you, my sweet. Yeah, whatever. Back at you. Hey, how was the date? Magical. We baptized three Jews today. Granted, they were tied up, but still. Anything yet? He won't touch me. I tried everything. Showing him my lower back tattoo, a benediction, eating a banana during morning mass, and sexting him photos of my bing bing during the tenth station of the cross. He thought it was a painting of Noah on the ark. I'm so ashamed. Don't be... or... Doobie. Honestly, I don't give a sh. Ah, oh, man, I forgot to get her to stamp my card. Petey, can I talk to you? I'm busy, Pop. I'm making Brenda a diorama of the rapture. Look, that's us ascending to heaven while the rest of the planet burns in hellfire. Look, son, I gotta tell you something. I did this thing for you. Maybe I shouldn't have, but. My dad did it for me. I was just trying to help. Jesus will see your good intentions, even if no living human does. Well, Brenda's not really who you think she is. She's... she's a college student I hired 
to, you know, show you a good time. What do you mean hired? That's ridiculous. She loves me. Does she ever ask if you're a cop? Every day. And I ask her if she's a cute little bunny. Are your dates in one-hour increments? So she's a fan of time management. What does that prove? Do lots of men recognize her on the street? She comes from a big family with a lot of uncles who like to spank her. So what? She's a prostitute. What? We haven't even kissed. That's kind of their thing. Damn you! Why do you try to ruin everything for me? Why can't you just let me have a happy ending? That's exactly what I was paying for! This might not be the best time to tell him I used his college fund. I don't care what he says. Brenda is not a prostitute. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. I will let you pay me for sex. Aw, oh, Daddy, can I have a sit down? Sure, princess. What's troubling you? Well, Hypothetically speaking, if you were shaking down someone and a cop got wise and started shaking you down, what would you do? Aw, oh, Gina, we went over this in kindergarten. Always pay off the cops first. You'd give him what he wanted? Sure. Paying off a cop ain't a crime. Well, it is, but you know what I mean. It's a cost of doing business. But I can't give this little rat-nosed Goobans what he wants. He wants everything. It'll cost me a fortune. Hypothetically speaking. Oh, my little angel. In a situation like that, you got no choice but to hit him where it hurts. His kneecaps. I knew it. Oh, kneecaps. You're so adorable. These little kneecaps. Daddy, <laughs> These little stop. kneecaps. <laughs> stop. Gina, I gotta talk to Dad alone. Sure. Just remember what I told you. Petey, what's the good word? Well, Pop, I want to say that I forgive you. I know that you were just trying to help me by hiring Brenda. Thanks. And I'm sorry it didn't work out with your little hooker girlfriend. Says who? I hate the sin, but I'm still in love with the sinner. I'm gonna save Brenda. But keep it under an hour! And when Chaucer said, Ahoy, did he really mean Ahoy? Brenda! Excuse me, what are you doing? to sell your body for sex, I'll take care of you. Brenda! Young man, there's no Brenda here. Yes, there is. She's right there. Six, no, seven rows up, four, no, five seats to the left. The prostitute. You know, Brenda, raise your hand. What the hell are you doing here? I'm here to save you. I know the truth and I don't care. Our relationship is stronger than the strongest man on earth. First of all, my name is Stella. Second, you don't know shit about shit. Our relationship was just business. You think I like spending my free time in a church? I'm a hooker, for God's sake. Stella, what are you saying? We spent all that time together. Are you trying to tell me it was for nothing? No, it was for a thousand bucks an hour. Standing here talking to you is for nothing. <laughs> Excuse me, but may I use the Fuck off! <laughs> You okay, kiddo? Don't bother trying to cheer me up. It'll never happen. First science let me down, now religion. There are no answers. Life sucks. You know, I remember when I was 15. Man, I was awkward. Overweight, pimples, four fingers on each hand. But life got better and it will for you. How can you be so sure? This is your time, the age of the nerd. And who's a bigger nerd than you? No one, that's who. One day, you'll invent some cool computer doohickey, and before you know it, you'll be knee-deep in Asian chicks. Really? Would I lie to you? You just spent the past week lying to me. <laughs> Nothing gets by my boy. You know, I have been working on a new memory enhancement chip. I'm up to a 60% increase in recall with only a 20% chance of death. Count me in. I'll be your first customer. And you know who that'd be good for? What's his face? You know who I mean, the guy with the thing we met in the place. This is kind of a happy ending, huh, Pop? No, you don't get the concept of a happy ending at all. How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal. Used to be Jimmy Falcone. I may be living like a jerk in witness protection, but back in the day, I was a made guy. I was the head of a crew and no one could touch me. Basically, I had it made. It's a funny story how that happened. 
this one night, they told me to keep Don Gambini away from his house because his wife was throwing him a surprise birthday party. Everyone's acting all weird and secretive, Jimmy. I'm telling you, something's going on. If I screwed up the surprise, his wife would kill me. Literally. She was built like a lumberjack and she was real good with an axe. Anyway, I shall get going. We just got here, boss. At least finish your drink. Hey, look! Look at Cheech go! <laughs> I could swear I just finished that. The thing about the Don was he got jumpy when he drank too much. Who did that? i plug you, you rat! But I got him home in time, just like I was supposed to. I guess the surprise was on them. The Don took out so many guys that night, I wound up getting made. But if you think I still got it made here in Regina, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Oh, someone's in a good mood. What can I say? The sun's up, the sky's blue, and me and Cheech are going at a track. My money's on third and the fifth. Who the hell names a horse third anyway? Isn't there something you want to say to me, Jimmy? What's for breakfast? No, something else. Um... Uh... Oh, right, you got your head done. Looks good. No, I didn't, you moron. You got no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Have a nice freaking day at the track. I hope a horse craps on you. Me too. It's good luck. You get the feeling Cookie was mad? What are you talking about? She said have a nice freaking day at the track, didn't she? Get a load of this. McCool's bringing me flowers. Don't be silly, Jimmy. These aren't for you. They're for Cookie. Hold up there, Kimosabi. You want to explain why you're bringing my wife flowers? And believe me, there's no right answer to that question. Ah, uh, Jimmy, your sense of humor is like a fresh breeze off the Canadian Rockies. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, tell me, because I can't see my own face. What a card you are, Jimmy. These are for Cookie's birthday. Oh, crap! Listen, you gotta help me out. Give me those flowers. Certainly not. I cultivated, picked, and arranged these myself. Well, would you look at that? Special Agent McCool remembered what Mr. What's for Breakfast over here forgot. Thank you, McCool. You are most welcome. Many happy returns, Cookie. For Canada, where no one forgets your birthday. Unless his name's Jimmy McDougal. Whoa, Cook, you got it all wrong. I know it's your birthday. I got a, a big surprise planned for you. Is that so? Well, I'm calling you bluff. Give me those. You're not pulling together some crappy gift at the last minute. Cook, I got a surprise planned like you wouldn't believe. Prepare to have your mind blown. Yeah? Well, prepare to never get blown again. I know a load of bullshit when I hear it. Jimmy, if we're not going to the track, can you let me out? Petey, why are my Cosmo pages all stuck together? Whoa. What are you doing? I realized what my biggest problem is when it comes to girls. That you're a complete loser? No, not that. The problem is, I don't know how to break the ice. So, I built a robot to do it for me. You sure that's a good idea? Last time you built one, it didn't work out so well. First rule of Robot Fight Club, build a robot. Second rule of Robot Fight Club, program that robot to fight. Petybot is programmed to meet, charm, and disarm girls. Then I step in to seal the deal. Uh, that won't work. He's still you. Just wait until you hear him say something suave. Something suave. <laughs> Ooh, Petey, aren't you going to introduce me to your robot friend? Ew. So you forgot Cookie's birthday. 
Big deal. She has one almost every year. She'll get over it. Oh, yeah? Remember the time I spent in the hospital back in New York? Sure. When those jackoffs from the Vanucci crew plugged you. It wasn't the Vanucci's, it was Cookie. I forgot our anniversary and she put one in me. That was Cookie? Ah, on. We went to war with the Vanucci's over that one. I know. A lot of lives were lost, Jimmy. Yeah, I get it, Cheech. I mean, some of our best guys. Drop it, will you? Fine. I gotta get ready anyways. For what? I needed some me time. So, I got a ticket to this all-gal review. All-gal review? You mean like strippers? Nah, it's classy. Dinner and a show. Like the nightclubs in the old days before they all turned into discus. Dinner and a show? That's perfect! Cookie loves that kind of crap. I'll order tickets right now. Give me a laptop. No can do. It broke. All right, let's see some nakeds. Holy s***, it's Chief Falcone! No, it ain't. Okay, it is. How you been, Carmine? I'm gonna get you, you stinking rat. <laughs> Miss me, you son of a bitch. All right, listen. I've had a crush on her for weeks, but I've never been able to talk to her. Go introduce yourself, charm the pants off her, and set up a date. Affirmative. Remove girls' pants. No, that's just an expression. Come here. I will charm the girl. That's better. Go get her! This is gonna be great. Goodbye loneliness, goodbye Cosmo magazine, goodbye crinkly socks. <laughs> yes, it worked! No, it worked too well! How is she Frenching him? He doesn't even have a tongue. Broken hips and wrinkly lips, a geriatric review. I don't know how you did it, but this is definitely a surprise. I gotta admit, I'm kinda hurt you didn't trust me, Cook. Give me two, good seats. 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Man, I should become a scalper. Is that word offensive to you people? Not at all. 500 bucks. It's the right to me! It's the right to you! It's the right to me! It's the right to you! What a show! What? Huh? Oh, yeah! Bravo! I loved it! Mm. Especially that one song, Hot Flash Dance. I like the number where they fell and couldn't get up. It really spoke to me. Let's go backstage, Jimmy. I want to get an autograph. You coming? Nah, I'm going to head home and see what I can do with the hole I blew on my laptop. If there's a tie on my door, don't come in. This job must be so much fun. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. When I was a kid, I wanted to extort the unions on Broadway. <gasps> Jimmy? Are, are you Jimmy Falcone? What? No, you got the wrong guy. I don't know no Jimmy Falcone. Ah, crap, you've been recognized. Go call him a cool. All right, if it comes down to it and you got a whacker, get me an autograph first. Listen, lady, if I was you, I'd have a senior moment and forget you ever saw me. It's me, kid. It's you? You who? Me, your pop, Sal Falcone. Listen, you sick maniac, my pop is dead. And I'm not Jimmy Falcone. Drop the act, Jimmy. I know you're in witness protection. Don't worry, I'm not gonna rat out my own son. I hate to break it to you, Looney Tunes, but my father was a man. Not anymore, I ain't. Come here, kid. So, it's probably wrong that I have a boner right now, isn't it? Look, lady, I got no idea who you are, but there's no freaking way you're Jimmy's father. Yeah, my pop disappeared when I was 13. We all figured the Tortellini family off them. And I hate to keep hopping on this, but he wasn't abroad! I swear on the eyes of my only son, which is you, that I used to be Sal Falcone! Okay, Sal Falcone. What was my mother's name? Apollonia Maria Teresa Falcone. Lucky guess. What about her maiden name? Butchino. Not bad. Okay, so when was I born? A little too soon after the wedding, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This is crazy! Are you an actual woman or just dressed up like one? Eh, uh, let me explain. Jimmy? I love your mother. She was a beautiful woman. But deep down, I always felt like a broad trapped inside a man's body. Of course, the mob don't look too kindly on that kind of thing. I had to be careful. It was starting to affect my work. I couldn't stop. I started taking stupid risks. I knew if I got caught, my friends would whack me. So 
I left to start a new life where I could finally, surgically, become a woman. Since then, I've been living as Sally Monero. That's quite a... I mean, what? Take your goals down, down, down! Hey! What's the big idea? All right, we've neutralized the threat. You're safe for now. I'll take her downtown, grill her, and assess the situation. Don't worry, Jimmy. Canada has your back. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Make mine a double, then double it. What are you doing here? I am waiting for my date. I'm the one who's supposed to go on the dates. You're supposed to step aside and let me jump in. When the time is right. When is that gonna be? Indeterminate. Need additional data. Come on, you're just jerking me around. Indeterminate. Need additional data. This is not what I programmed you for. Hide, here she comes. Your presence is agreeable. Is that a new hat? Aw, oh, come on! Should I jump in now? Not yet. Now? Not yet. Uh, now? Not yet. Uh, uh. Why did I make him anatomically correct? So, what did she say? Good news, Jimmy. There's absolutely no risk of her informing on you. In fact, she's in more danger from the mob than you are. You merely broke a blood oath that you swore on your life to uphold. She turned into a lady. They hate that. <clears throat> Don't be that way, Jimmy. She's a delightful person with a wonderful sense of humor and a sparkling personality. Don't get any ideas, big guy. So now what? Do you make it disappear or do I? Disappear? Au contraire, I suggest you spend some time with her before she leaves town. I, too, lost my father at a young age, and not a day goes by I don't wish for a chance to speak to him again. To say, Father, why do you care more about huffing gasoline and chasing Thai ladyboys than you do your own son? But alas, I cannot. This is a gift, Jimmy. Open it. I think I'll just return it for store credit. Family is for life. All sales are final. For Canada! Where it's not gay to be with a transgender! <laughs> It's 4.15 and you're drunk? I had some soup at lunch and it was so good. And then a bunch of my friends were having soup and then I just got crazy. <laughs> crazy. That soup is so f***ing good. You know your robot is nailing anything that moves at school. What? He broke up with Sheila then started seeing Jenna and broke up with her and saw Anna for a while and now he's fooling around with Kelly. <laughs> Dude is a player. <laughs> you should get in on that action. <laughs> I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> Listen, Buster, I programmed you to get me a girlfriend, not to bang every girl in school. According to PDBot's calculations, the only chance of you having a girlfriend is if PDBot has one for you. That's insane! What can I say? Players gonna play, haters gonna hate, yo. Hey, Grandpa Marcel, when you turned into a lady, did the operation hurt? What operation, kid? I went into a cocoon. <laughs> hey, whose car is in the... Gotta go. Not so fast, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god, Daddy. Your daddy is so much fun. You got lovely kids here, Jimmy. <laughs> ah, what the hell is he, she doing here? I went to apologize for getting her arrested. We got to talking, and I realized she's family. So what? Now every Tom, no Dick and Sally who shows up is family? Give her a chance, will ya? No thanks. You get your ass over there and enjoy your goddamn family. No! Jimmy, where you going? Don't run out! What? Like you did to me? What an asshole. Pull over! We need to talk! No! We got some things to work out. No, we don't! Come on, kid, we gotta deal with this! I don't gotta do nothing! <laughs> ah! oh, oh. Jimmy, can ya? <laughs> hey! This ain't over, Jimmy! Damn it, I chipped a nail. Boop, 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 boop.
That's for not calling me. Uh. That's for sleeping with my sister. Uh. That's from my mom. Oh. Your presence is agreeable. Oh, the guy's a machine. Police deny the helicopter crash had anything to do with a recent epidemic of teenage drunkenness. Hey, when is Grandpa Marcel gonna visit again? She's gonna show me how to off a guy with a scrunchie. She ain't coming back to this house. You kidding me? Why not? I don't want her around you. You're taking away the one woman I can actually learn something useful from. What? You're seriously robbing me of the only strong female role model in my life? I'm standing right here. Gina, I'm your father, and I can rob you of whatever the hell I want. Jimmy, that's enough. Don't listen to him, Gina. Go get yourself a cookie. What's the matter with you? Are you going to crap on everyone just because your father changed into a woman? Nah, that's his freaking business. What am I going to do, change him back? So what are you pissed off about? I'm pissed off because he left me! He never even said goodbye! Why? What did I do? Was it something wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? Oh, Jimmy, it wasn't your fault. Jesus Christ, what is this, an after-school special? Hey, Gina, get down here. There's someone who wants to see you. Grandpa Marcel's here? Nope, better than that. I'm real sorry for yelling at you. So I got you a pony. What the hell I need a pony for? Because you're the best little girl in the world and you deserve it. I don't want a pony. Sure you do, it's great. You can comb her hair, have tea parties, ride her around. You don't know me at all, do you, Pop? Of course I do. What kind of a father would I be if I didn't know my little girl? Come on, give her a spin. I don't wanna. It smells like Cheech's room. Just try it, will ya? Here, over here. Here, boy. Here, horse. Here, pony. Come on, pony. Come on. Come on, you fucking horse. You trying to kill me, Bob? What the hell's the matter with you? Have fun, sweetie. Fuck you. I am a good father. Come on, I hate you. <laughs> sweetie. <gasps> Doing? Just checking in with my favorite oldest daughter. How about things, kid? How's your life? Fine, but I'm kind of busy right now. Just wanted to see how you're feeling. A little weirded out. Are you dying or something? No, no, I'm just fine. And I'm never leaving you. Well, at some point you're gonna die. Look, nobody's dying. I'm gonna kill you, Jimmy. What the hell are you doing buying Gina a psychotic pony? What? I'm just trying to be a good father. You're already a good father, mostly. Stop trying to prove it before you kill someone. It's Sally you need to work things out with. Now go talk to her, you big dope. She's right, Daddy. Go do that right now, like immediately. Yeah, get your head out of your ass, will ya? <sighs> You're right. I should probably go talk to him, her. Darren, you can come out now. Darren, Darren. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, pick up, pick up. It's an emergency, damn it. Hey. Oh, hey, Brad. Turns out I am free tonight. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but for the good of those girls and the continued survival of my nads, I need to power you down. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Petey. Hasta la vista, Petey Bot. <coughs> Wrong remote. I installed that. I am sorry, Petey, but it is you that must be terminated. Why do robots always turn on their masters? Why do masters always anger their robots? No, no. Damn it, that's of no use to me. Violence is never a solution. <laughs> okay, maybe under some circumstances. Hey, what's with all the racket? I killed. Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. Okay, I'm bored. Pop, wait! <clears throat> you got the stuff? You got the money? Ow! Ah, the mother! Who's in your trunk? A cop? What the hell you doing, Pop? What's it look like? I'm selling weed. You kidding me? Hey, you can take the fella out of good fella, but that don't make him good. 
What the hell are you doing here? All right, I don't like surprises. We're gonna have to plug you two. The hell you will. Pop, I don't care about you becoming abroad, but why the hell did you leave me? Wait a sec. This lady's your father? Yeah, I used to be a man. Deal with it. Do you got any idea how tough it was growing up without a dad around? What? You think it didn't tear my heart out to leave? You abandoned your own kid? That's unconscionable. Let's kill her. Wait, wait. I want to see where this is going. If I stayed and got caught, do you think you would have ever grown up to be a capo? Nah, you would have been a laughing stock. See? What choice did she have? We well, could have suppressed his desire to be a woman and raised his son. That would have made for a real healthy father-son relationship. You better forgive your dad, mister. You mind your business. Yeah! yeah. Jimmy, can you ever forgive me? Yeah, after all, you was just looking out for me. I'm sorry I had to leave. Come here, you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go call my stepdads. All seven of them. Are you crying too? Don't look at me! <laughs> Pop, before you head out of town, let's enjoy the time we have together. I'd like that, Jimmy. Now what do you say we take these jokers' guns away and kick the shit out of them? Way ahead of you, kid. Come here! Mm, this is delicious, Cookie. What is it? A little thing I whipped up called Pony Parmigiano. Say, who's the dish, Jimmy? Mind if I take a crack at her? Cheech, uh, I don't know if you want to... Hey, gorgeous. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Cheech, you're hitting on your own brother. I'll take that as a maybe. Well, gang, here's to family. To family! family. To... Family.